you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries november 23rd monday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 21 verses 1 to 4 he looked up and saw rich people putting their gifts into their treasury He also saw a poor widow put in two small copper coins. He said, truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all of them. For all of them have contributed out of their abundance. But she, out of her poverty, has put in all she had to live on. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, today... we begin the last chapter of luke's gospel proceeding in his account of passion jesus is still in jerusalem and spending time preaching in the temple as he stood one day near the treasury where there were dumb boxes to receive the offerings he saw among all the will of people dropping their surplus money a poor widow put in two copper coins of very small value jesus immediately comments on their generosity and faith the others were putting in offerings which they could easily afford it would have involved no diminution of their lifestyle no hardship of any kind but this woman was a poor widow and therefore belonging to the least advantaged of all the people in that society in fact poverty and widowhood were for many almost synonymous and this woman put in everything she had it has been observed that she had two coins and she put in both in the circumstances she need only have put in one and kept the other for her own needs jesus sets her up as an example of uh, someone who put her total trust in god's providence she gave everything to him no one is saying that uh, one should literally follow her example if could be seen as irresponsible we are told to love our neighbor but also ourselves at the same time how often when we do dip into our pockets do we really give to others money uh, that we were thinking of spending on something we do not really need or are we like the people in today's story who casually give money they will not miss in the slightest there is a difference between giving alms and sharing our goods and good fortune with those who have less a lot less than us st paul writing to the christian of corinthian and uh, appealing for help for the poor christian communities for if the eagerness is there the gift is acceptable according to what one has not according to what one does not have i don't mean that there should be relief or for others or pressure on you but it is a question of a fair balance between your present abundance and their need so that their abundance may be for your need in order that uh, there may be a fair balance as it is written whoever had much did not have more and whoever had little did not have less Exodus chapter 16 18 so my dear friends clearly most people cannot uh, literally follow the example of jesus but there are many examples of people who did if only we too could have that kind of trust that kind of generosity that ability to share and that kind of freedom freedom from material wants and freedom for others the richest person is not the one who has accumulated much but the one who has least needs in this sense this poor widow was rich indeed amen may god bless us